Remember the stool I did with the linseed oil combined with brick dust? Well, that's what we're working on today. Beeswax. You can actually make your own beeswax polish, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Now you can buy beeswax in blocks like this. It smells really nice. And I'm going to melt this uh, and I make it into a softer polish for my stool. Now the thing when you melt beeswax polish is that it's easier to melt it if it's in smaller pieces. I bought this in a one pound block and they come in different sizes. And it's actually pretty affordable. I think I paid like $7 for this big block. It's going to make quite a lot of polish. Now for my polish, I'm going to be using one part wax and one part mineral spirits. And in order to melt this, I'm going to use a double boiler. So I'm going to heat up some water over my induction cooktop to create a boil here. And now I have a boil going here. I'm going to put my beeswax right over it. And so this is a double boiler which is the same method you use when you melt chocolate. The whole idea is that it's gentle indirect heat, so you're heating it with steam. And I can see it loosening up here already. It's actually quite cool, this melting like this. Not unlike butter melting. Okay, so this is 63 grams worth of beeswax, roughly two ounces. And I'm going to make a one-to-one -one part polish here, so I'm going to add the same amount of mineral spirits once this has dissolved. So this is melting quite nicely here, and it smells. Fantastic, smells like honey. So now I'm gonna add my mineral spirits, just slowly here. You can also use turpentine, but I realized I didn't have any in the shop, so I'm using mineral spirits instead. So if, for example, if you're working with a piece of furniture and you're trying to remove the wax finish, then you know applying some mineral spirits would take care of that, which is something to realize here, that the mineral spirits dissolves the wax. Now, if you were to add some oil to this, you would create like, a finishing product. Uh, a lot of finishing products have some portion of beeswax to it, but this is a more concentrated wax polish that you can really put on top of anything. I wish you guys could feel the finish, how smooth the beeswax polish really makes it. I mean, wax really does that wax, smoothens out the surface and makes it so smooth. Like uh, sometimes when you uh, walk into a furniture store with really nice pieces and you touch one of those uh, surfaces, like a tablecloth, and you wonder, oh my God, is this really wood? How did they create this? Well, that's what this feels like. It feels amazing. It feels so soft. Well, some of you guys might remember this one. This is the stool that was finished with the brick dust oil, the raw linseed oil. And it has had multiple applications and it's been out in the sun to, to dry. It actually reminds me of the way a brick dries in an oven, how the color is related to the distance from the fire. And so it has a slightly different color to it, darker in some areas and lighter in some. And that is exactly the same thing that has happened here. Some parts are darker, some are lighter. Uh, and that just really goes with this natural theme that I was going for here. So I'm very pleased with this. Now, uh, it's been about 30 minutes since I made my uh, beeswax polish and it has solidified. Uh, and it's still a little warm. So I'm going to polish this thing now with the beeswax. It's been sanded down uh, to 320. So it's really nice and smooth and it's ready for the finished uh, application now. Now this goes on very nicely. I'm not just using a regular cloth to apply it. And it's really like applying butter. And like with any wax, I'm just putting a pretty liberal coat and then I'm going to wipe it off, buff it off later as it has soaked into the wood. I mean wax really protects the wood. I think it's really the really great finish to finish a finished piece with. You know, once you've applied your oil or your paint, as in chalk paint, when we did the chalk paint episode, also used wax on top of the painted surface. So it's a very versatile uh, finish wax and it's natural, which is really nice. Of course, you can also just you can buy your pre-mixed beeswax polish, but it's more fun doing it this way. 